morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are headed out to the barn. <laughs> Hold on when you need a friend, I'll never let you go again. Reach out when your mind's uneasy, cause I'll understand. Hold on when you need a friend, I'll say it. Good morning, guys. Actually, I think I already said good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's like, why I'm seriously down. excited for today, and I hope you guys are too. Wake up. Oh. Wake up. Go out there and see what miracle God has planned for you. It might be a tiny baby miracle, or it might be the most crazy thing that ever happens to you. Sometimes that happens to us. I woke up before. I've woken up before and been shocked by the plans God had for me that day. Talking about shocked. Something crazy happened to this girl ever since she was Gabby for a day. She was Gabby for a day, and now all she wants is with jeans and makeup. Yeah. So she woke up this morning with a plan. What's your plan, sister? To get fit, so I can get makeup. To get fit. She woke up and said, we have to go running. I made a plan. She brought her notebook and her pencil, and she has a plan on how she wants to get fit. She'd be looking good, though, in her Equizen attire. Yeah. As per usual, Gabby's already getting work done. And Gabby's and Sophie's just standing around enjoying life, walking slow. Speed it up, sister, if you're gonna walk in front of me. You ever woke up and had so much energy and been like, oh, I wanna do all these things today? Yeah, no, not me. <laughs> I was just joking. That happens to me all the time. It used to happen to me all the time. It hasn't happened to me as much since we had a farm. Uh, go get their food. But it did happen to me this morning. I have already ripped apart my room, trying to clean up my closet. I want to switch my purse. I want to wash all of our bedding. I want to, Sophie wants to go for a run. Sophie wants to go for a run. Are you up for a run? What do you guys think? We kind of want to take our ponies running with us. Come on, Rizzy. I feel like if we're actually gonna get serious about running, I used to be a runner. I don't have the energy that I used to have. I love running though. I hope that my girls are gonna get into it. Um, I feel like if we're really gonna like do it, we need to not take our ponies to, at least to begin with. And I worry about their hooves if we took them running every single day. Um, but we are gonna try it this morning. Yeah, and you are going running every single day. We're not going running every single day. I only have energy like six days, extra energy six days. All the rest of my energy usually gets taken up with barn chores. Oh, still, you're coming running with me All today. right, but let's try it today. I also wanna get my house clean for Mother's Day because all my kids will be showing up. I'm just joking, I'll get nothing for Mother's Day. None of us get anything for Mother's Day because co Corona, this is gonna be our first ever Corona Mother's Day. That's okay, I'm gonna be able to FaceTime them and talk to them. I still wanna get the house clean though. Hi. Sophie is in a mood, holy heck. Get up, don't hang your head, we'll take it step by step. Fell inside, now I'm living in a matchbox. Do you guys hear that sound? sound of grain being consumed by a hungry wild beast and if you think that these are not wild beasts then you did not see our extra video last night where Storm was like I'm a wild beast he literally bolted towards me so fast there was like this much space between, okay, a little bit more, a couple feet between him and me when he finally veered to the right. I literally stood there shaking, thinking, where am I gonna go? I moved the camera because I was gonna go to the, I was gonna go this way, I was gonna go that way. Like Sophie and I were in the way of his oncoming ferociousness until at the very last second he swerved. I did not want him to swerve because he's recuperating from an injury. So yeah, but that did happen. He is beast. When he wants to be, he can be fast. This time, all it needed was a little spark. If you don't know what happened to Sophie in the night, she woke up this whole new person. I think it's been happening since she dressed up as Gabby and realized how amazing it was to look good and feel good. Um, or it's just regular hormones and growing and changing. But yeah, she's ready to be a teenager at 10. Give me my heart back, somebody stole it and put it in your head.
Okay, I have a little thing I wanted to tell you guys. I dreamed this last night and I feel like God was trying to tell me that I should share it with you. And so I'm just gonna jump right into it so that we can get on with today's video. Imagine from the moment that you were born, you were meant to be a dancer. Imagine you were meant to be a dancer. Like you were two years old and you were doing pirouettes everywhere. Like your parents knew you were meant to be a dancer. Everybody you met knew that you were meant to be a dancer and you were good at it. Like everything about your life was good at it. And as you grew up, your parents signed you up for school and you were so excited to meet your friends. And you went there and when you got there, you discovered it was a school for football. It was a football school. It was your local school and so you went, your parents told you you had to go and you were still excited and you went and all everybody did was football. All everybody talked about was football, but in your heart, all you wanted to do was dance. After a couple of years of being the odd man out, or the odd woman out, um, you start to feel stressed and you start to feel like you don't fit in and you start to feel like there's something wrong with you because nobody is like you nobody else likes you they all make fun of you everybody is mean your whole world is filled with football when all you want to do inside is dance obviously you all can see that that little girl that dancer is just in the wrong place and i want you guys to know that the same thing happens to all of us you might be in the wrong place for you right now and that's okay sometimes we have to get through the wrong place to get to the right place but don't let that affect who you are inside because you are amazing you are a gift of god god made you for a reason that only he knows and a reason that only you can fulfill you have a purpose on this earth that only you can fulfill and if you are in the wrong place right now and people are making fun of you and you don't feel like you fit in it's because you're in the wrong place hold on keep going keep moving keep trying new things because you're gonna find your people you're gonna find your place everybody finds their place I promise do you feel like you're in the right place in the world yeah. do you feel stressed out No. do you feel like you don't belong No. do you feel like you belong someplace better no. someplace else better do you feel like you're in the right place in the world you don't like it. Whoops! You don't like answering spiritual spiritual questions. Yeah. Gabby, do you fit in? Do you feel like you fit in? No, I'm too good for this world. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. So many people judge Gabby for being harsh and critical, but that's just her YouTube persona, you guys. She doesn't like to show. I'm worse in real life. Yeah, she's worse in real life, she just said. That is the person that she shows to the world because she doesn't like to feel vulnerable in front of her peers or in front of the camera, and that's okay. Imagine you only loved yourself if everybody else in the world loved you. Imagine, imagine okay, you're... Girl. Yeah, imagine. So then you would so then you would spend all your time trying to make sure that everybody loved you. You would have all the right hair, you'd have all the right clothes, you'd say all the right things so that everybody loved you so that you could love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, it's a terrible, awful feeling inside of you and nobody wants that. So we all go out there to try and and achieve self-love. So if all the love that you have for yourself is based on what other people think. You will spend your entire life living to make other people happy and in love with you. But imagine if the love that you have for yourself comes from inside you. That no matter what anybody else says about your hair or your clothes or your glasses or what you do with your life, imagine you didn't care about any of that because love yourself so much and you understand where you're coming from and you understand all the things about you that make you amazing, then when you do that, you end up living a life geared toward making yourself happy and man, is that the life you wanna have. So go out there and make yourself happy. Don't care what you're wearing, don't care what you're dressed like, go out there and be yourself. Draw those people into your life and live a happy life. That is it for today, you guys. Let's get on with the fun stuff. Remember when I did all the grain for like the whole winter and I'm the only one that really knew? I haven't done grain in so long that I'm really struggling. I'm trying to set up all the grain for, to for tonight and I forget, I forget what everybody gets. It's a struggle, but I think I got the buckets right. We also give our horses salt. Oops, that's a lot of salt. We have them salt every day because horses need salt. And they, the b big horses do have salt licks. Also gonna invest in some of those big blue salt licks and maybe put them in the field for any horse to lick whenever they want during the day. I'm gonna wait till rainy season is over though. Otherwise it's a waste. Also, uh, remember I told you I bought this UTP, which is my, ugh, 
all time favorite supplement on earth for ulcers. And then we went through a bottle so fast because I put a pump on it. Well, this time I switched it up and we used this little syringe and I just filled this and I just filled this little bucket up every once in a while and we're back to normal usage. Yeah, Our, we love those buckets. Yeah, we love these buckets. Our friend, don't get a syringe. Our friend Mel sent them to us from, from England and they serve us so well. <laughs> what do you think, Miss Gracie? How you liking your? I think she rolled to try and get it off. Brought, whoops! I brought the ponies treats. What do you think? You got a bug on your face. Good girl. Come here, little Miss Minnie. charge so she's gonna wear them next time and it's been a struggle for Sophie because she's not used to all this running I've been loving it Gabby have you been loving it sure sure all right so we were gonna go to the cow farm but we stopped three quarters of the way we're gonna go back my heart was dead and broken but now it's found a home fell inside now I'm living in a matchbox noisy morning at the day by day family home. Gabby is training Molly to ring a bell so that when she go when she needs to go outside, she knows how to do that. She's also teaching Ruby how to spin circles, which Ruby already knows. And school is almost done for the day and you guys maybe saw the saga that was yesterday's vlog where the girls were fighting over fly masks. Some of you guys were like, that's so dumb. Why fight over fly mask? Which is what I think uh, too. You are dumb. So, basically, this was the issue. I may not have made it completely clear, but the issue was that Sophie has a really nice blue fly mask and a storm has a really nice orange fly mask. And then we have a really nice black one. And Tina gets orange because Finn fits him okay. He could have a better fit, but the blue one fits him okay. But Gabby wanted the blue one so that her two bays could have nice bright colored fly masks, which I understand because I think that would be awesome. But then there's Sophie who owns the blue one and wants the blue one for her horse, which I get too. And so it just came down to we can't just take somebody's fly mask away from their horse because we want it. And um, this one, if this turns out good, then I'll... Even if a better fitting one would fit Sophie's horse, she wants the one that is hers. Why should why should we yeah. just take it away? Not it's hard to understand, yeah. I think. But yeah. we have come to a conclusion. Yeah. We have come to a decision that we are going to take this amazing, gorgeous, noble 
Outfitters fly mask. It's called the Guardsman. I love this fly mask. Yeah, it only has tan and black. I don't think we should deface it because I think I could sell this. This was so much money. I think this was 60 bucks. Did we get sponsored? Maybe this was $99. We got sponsored. Oh, this was, yeah. we got sponsored? I don't even know. Gosh, Mom. All right, let's ruin it then. Um, okay, so basically, Sophie decided she's going to try and make it look prettier and then maybe it'll suit Finn. So we found in our cupboard of crafts a tie-dye party kit. Did we have a cupboard of crafts? Yeah. Well, we used to have a cupboard of crafts at our old house, but I just said yeah. that because it sounded good. Oh. Um, so Sophie picked a bunch of colors. She's going to do this blue and um, I'm gonna this do pink. This pink. And this purple. And this purple. So she wants to do all these colors. I think you should do it and like yellow. Red. Like that bright yellow would look this? so much nicer. No, this one. No, only do a little bit of colors. Chris. Yeah, we don't want to. So basically, these ones are already mixed. And that's why we're using Down. them. Down. Plus, I like these ones. These ones that are not mixed come with the dye in the bottom of the bottle, and then you add water to the top of the line there. And we don't want to waste them all because we want to use this for other crafts too. Hey, so, you shove it in. Yeah, so we have some big bottles and we have some small bottles. Yeah, like why do they do that? Because these two are small. And, this and we have it. a bunch of elastics in case you want to tie dye. A ton of elastics. These are all the elastics that we have left. Um, and one glove. Yeah, one glorious glove. We are going to take this outside and she's going to decorate it, make it her own, and see if it would be a good. We don't even know if it will fit Finn, to be honest. It will. Um, it's super windy outside, so I'm just going to video it and put music to it and um, because you probably won't be able to hear me, but yeah, let's go do it. Do you approve, Miss Cookie Dough? Do you approve that we're going to go out there and do this? See, she's got her her paw on my hand. Cookie said Everybody? purple. Yeah. Uh, so many people have asked us, where the heck are your little dogs and why don't you ever include them? Like, they're with us 27, 24-7. Look, right now, I got hair here. And right now, oh my gosh, did you just teach your puppy to roll over? Yes. Uh, Macy was just here with these two dogs. Toby's in his crate of his own free will. Maddie, roll over. Maddie, roll over. No, up, wait. Which way are you leaning? Up, down. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Woohoo! Down. Good girl. Roll over. Roll. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Good girl. They're like, do me next. Do me next. <laughs> yeah. Cookie's the sweetest because she Four. has had kids. Over. It's so true, though, how all of our animals act girl. like our owners. Yeah. I'm lazy. She's lazy. <laughs> yeah. She's Roll sweet. Over. You're sweet. very many junk food things uh, instead we've been filling up our fruit bowls a lot Sophie what are you making Sophie fruit salad fruit salad back in the day when I was a health freak I used to drink a lot of smoothies so I think I'm gonna go the route that Sophie's going and make myself a spinach smoothie fruit. all right I have got apple pear strawberries green peppers which gives spice to your smoothie lots of spinach and some blackberries Literally, this makes me so nervous. I just got down to the barn and Willow had her mouth right on the handle and was and was trying to open the door. Like she knows how to do it. You shouldn't be watching us, little mini. Like she literally was trying to break free. You were trying to break free. We would have lost her if she got out because I left the door to the barn out. Uh oh, get that on your nose. It's pouring rain, it's a riding day, so the girls are gonna ride, but I have to wait for them to get down here before we can bring the horses in. Unless they take one at a time. But yeah, I wanted to try and beat the rain, but we didn't, oh man. 
All right, the girls are going to get the horses. Oh no, that's not cool. Oh, she peed in the barn. First pee in the barn. We're walking it. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on. Good girl. The horses don't want to be out in the rain. They're like, come save me. That's Gabby telling them to get the heck away from her. They're hurrying because of the rain, and that makes me nervous. Nothing good happens when you hurry, when you rush. Give me my heart back to somebody stole it and put it in your head. So I brushed Willow and did Finn's feet. I did Finn's feet. Like, who ever thought that Laura would be the one to do Finn's feet all the time. Huh? Um, maybe I can only ride bareback because I don't know where his birth is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm ready. Can you walk the ponytail now? Yeah. Finn chose bright pink for today, you guys. I just made the girls a little on the grouchy side. I'm going to close this door because I'm bringing Willow in. Actually, I'm bringing Gracie in. All right, do you guys notice a trend? Gracie does all her best flirting with a bunch of hay hanging out of her mouth. We got all the horses in, the two horses that are being ridden out. And I just want to take this boy's fly mask off because you do not need that inside. No, you don't. You want to be able to see. That's like wearing sunglasses in the house, huh? There you go. Oh my goodness. I think he's been trying to get it off. I know. I didn't get to to. Oh, I did not get to brush you, did I? Oh, he just wants to be brushed. He's like, brush me! I think he thinks I'm the brush, I'm the grooming girl. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so if he's feeling a bit nervous, and it is okay. Gabby's all on fire over there. She's like, oh, I'm just going for it. I ordered three new bras for Gabby from Licenza. Two. I three. I tracked them online. They got shipped out from the company right away. The Canada Post picked them up and now they're just sitting someplace in some warehouse. They're like, haven't moved in days. They were supposed to be here last Monday. They're, yeah, that's the state of the world, you guys. Like, you have to be really careful who you order from, what company they use. Canada Post is just way too slow. We need, like, you need to, we need to, like, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be so hard learning this new way of living. So this is how it turned out. I think it's cute. She was gonna do a bunch of different colors, but the extra colors didn't look good. So she just turned it blue. I think it's really cute. I think it turned out super cute. Hold on when you need a friend, I'll never let you go again. Reach out when your mind's uneasy, cause I'll understand.